to, I had to, and I.
All right, some very, very lovely blues. Very lovely blues. So now it is my job to comment a little bit about this. I'll try to be uh, as uh, short as I can be. But I have some very specific comments, and then I have some group comments, and guys stay up here, because there are a couple of things we're going to do just to make that excellent performance even more excellenter. Okay, that's a word. So, um, uh, first thing I want to talk about is the improvised solos that I heard. And it was lovely to hear Neil go first, um, because Neil is a very advanced improviser, and you could hear that, because when he was improvising, in a way of what he was expressing, he was, he was telling us what was coming next in the harmony anticipating the chord changes and making those curves nice and fluid and rounded. And it was really nice to hear that, Neil. Very, very coherent ideas and, and subjects that you were speaking about in your improvisation. So that was very lovely to hear. Very, very good. The other thing I heard is from our alto players in their own sweet way, no pun intended, that's a Dave Rebecca, thank you for the one laugh. Uh, they both had their own way of telling us through their solos that you guys weren't done yet and that you were gonna go more and do some more choruses. Now one of the soloists, who will not be named, maybe went to a couple extra courses that he anticipated, and one of the things that's really hard to do is to get out of your solo. So it's kind of like you have to have a game plan to get in and a game plan to get out. One of the best ways to get out, if you can't think of anything else on the spot, is start playing the melody, and that will lead you out, and it will also tell the other soloists, hey, I'm done, here comes the next guy. Speaking of the next guy, smooth segue, Let's talk a little bit of our piano solo. Very, very lovely. But I kept picking up on, hey, I'm done with this chorus, and uh, it's going to be yours. Nah, I'm going to play a bit more. Yeah so, yeah, so when you're directing traffic, make sure you don't tell two cars to go at the same time unless you really like Rex. Because, you know, it can be a little bit. But it was a very lovely piano solo. I liked all the chordal stuff you did. It was really, really nice. Let's hear it for the piano solo. Now, the guys up here think I'm going to comment about the fact that no one quite jumped in on playing fours until Neil played the last two beats of the first four <laughs> and then uh, saved the ship from going over, which was fine, but I'm not going to talk about that. What I am going to talk about is the fact that we have four horn players and everyone played their nice solo and was standing around, yeah, oh man, that's cool, that's really hip. But what did they do to help each other propel the energy? Namely, how come I didn't hear any background whatsoever? Whenever we're in a jam session kind of setting, and there are lots of horns, and you have a horn soloing, by all means, come up with the background. Come up with the riff. Take part of the head. It will propel the energy. So, case in point, here's what we're going to do. Neil, you're going to play, if you would. Rhythm section, back to the B-flat blues. And one of you three guys is going to take control of the ship and come up with a riff right off the bat. And you're going to teach it to the other guys on the spot. should be simple. And we're going to see how that propels the soloist. All right? Everybody got an idea? Beautiful. By the way, I defer to maybe someone who has more experience with riffs. I mean, who plays a different instrument, but that's, that's just for you to decide. Here we go. One, two, B, black, blues. Great. That was really, really nice. Nice riff. Nice play. Holy level of excitement. Um, the best place to do a riff is usually over the bass solo. Play it really loudly. No, 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 no. I'm just being sarcastic. If there's a general rule. Uh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. He's agreeing. Now we're really in trouble. If there's a place to play it, it's generally over a horn soloist or an amplified instrument. That seems to work the best. 